The city of Grover Beach is moving forward with two homeless housing projects. KSBY reporter Austin Herbaugh has more information on how the community is reacting. The Five Cities Homeless Coalition says that these will be the first homeless shelters in South County. Some business owners are raising concerns but say they are willing to work with the city and the coalition. The city of Grover Beach taking action to address the growing issue of homelessness on the central coast. Construction is underway at this lot off of 16th Street and Long Branch Avenue, the future site of 20 tiny cabins that will serve as transitional housing. The prospect of being able to give somebody a, a living space that has hard walls and a hard ceiling, someplace that uh, they will be able to stay for several months and to get to the next phase of their housing. Uh, it's, it's exciting. The city also moving forward with plans to build a second temporary housing facility along South 4th Street. The Grover Beach City Council approved a 55-year ground lease agreement with the Five Cities Homeless Coalition at its meeting on June 27th. We as a, as a city have authorized a lease which allows them to go pursue funding through the state through the Project Home Key. This vacant lot located at 955 South 4th Street was acquired by the city back in March. Nearby businesses say they are not against helping the homeless. However, they were taken off guard by the news. My initial reaction was shock. Um, we found out by actually watching the news and not from the city of Grover Beach or the Homeless Coalition themselves. Toyworks Automotive is right next to the site of the future facility. The owner hopes to work with the city and the Five Cities Homeless Coalition to find a solution that's best for everyone involved. Parking's a concern out down here, uh, lighting on the street. There's only one street light on the whole street. Um, you know, where they enter and exit will be a, a huge uh, decision. Hopefully they can get with us and we can work out a solution. The Five Cities Homeless Coalition plans to meet in person with nearby businesses in the coming weeks. I have no doubt that it'll impact our business. Um, I'm hoping we can make it as minimal as possible. And we're hoping in the next couple weeks to meet with those surrounding companies. Crews, meanwhile, continue to lay the groundwork for the project at 16th and Long Branch. The goal is that when they stay here when they leave in a few months that they get into permanent housing and their life is in order to be able to maintain that. The goal is to deliver the cabins and have that facility up and running by late summer or early fall. We're very happy to partner with, with the county as well as the Five Cities Homeless Coalition on trying to, to address homelessness in the South County uh, and uh, it takes uh, the proverbial village. The facility on 4th Street will be similar to the Tiny Homes Project but will likely look different. There is no design or exact timeline for construction yet. In the newsroom, Austin Herbop, KSBY News. Now that project will also be the site of underground utility lines for the Central Coast Blue Project.